Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Mark, and today I'm going to be showing you what I learned from learning how to edit without a mouse. Roll intro. All right, so the first tip I have for you guys is to learn to use that number pad. I always used to be a point and click kind of editor, but man, oh man, did it make a difference when I started using that number pad. You can use it for trimming clips, for navigating around the timeline, and well, that's really it. But what more do you need in life? Learn it, love it, use it. Highly recommend. All right, so number two was a real surprise to me. And this was that there was a whole tool inside of Premiere I never used and I didn't even know it was there. So this is the trim mode. So in trim edit mode, you can adjust the clips in or out points using the JK and L keys or the number pad. It's pretty nifty. You can even perform a rolling edit here. Pretty nifty and looks great when you're in front of a client. All right, for number three, it just looks impressive in front of clients. This is something I didn't really expect, but when you're able to whiz across the keyboard like that, people will look at you differently. They really take you seriously and it makes them think that you know your salt, even if maybe you're fudging it a little bit. I think it might be worth it just for that one. All right, for my next tip, we're talking about getting outside help. Now, Premiere Pro has some functionality that just can't be replicated using only a keyboard. And that's where we cheat a little bit, by bringing in Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro is a fantastic tool that allows us to pre-program keystrokes and coordinates and hit them at the stroke of a key. This is really useful for reaching those places that you just can't get to inside of Premiere, and it allows you to cheat it your way through a little bit. All right, the next thing I learned on this little journey is that there is so, so many things inside of Premiere Pro that can be keyboard customized. So one of the useful features that I wouldn't really think about is just the ability to open clips or switch between panels. Being able to navigate between these interfaces can be tricky at first, but once you have keybind set up to switch between different panels, open clips, place them on the timeline, things like that, it just opens up a new realm of possibilities. All right, the last thing I learned trying to learn how to edit without a mouse is that sometimes you just can't do it. The mouse is a really invaluable tool and learning how to edit keyboard only is also a valuable tool, but they're just tools and they're really meant to be used in conjunction with each other. There are certain aspects of editing that just can't be done using only a keyboard. And that's really where the mouse comes in. Being able to tweak effect parameters and do color correction, things of that nature, you're really not going to be able to replicate it on a keyboard. I'm not looking at you tangent devices. I know you got your color correction panels, but it's still not the same. Really, you need to have that mouse there. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.